I've got a great recipe for a delicious and creamy risotto flavored with asparagus and artichoke. Now for me, a really great risotto relies on good stock. So I've got some fresh vegetable stock here and I want to inject some flavor by using the asparagus. So to prepare the asparagus, just take a stem, put your thumb on the bottom and then just push, it'll snap. Now this bit is a little bit woody, so we don't need that. And then I just want to take the asparagus and just cut it into roughly three centimeter lengths like that. So with the asparagus chop, that goes straight into a pan of stock. So that just needs to simmer for about three minutes until the asparagus starts to soften. Then just take a sieve set over a bowl and I've got some artichokes in oil. Now this oil has got loads of flavor, so you want to keep that. And I'm just going to use a little splash of this at the base of the rice and then in with half of my butter, I'm going to save the rest for later. And then when the butter's foaming, go in with the shallots. So just start sweating those shallots off. I'm going to come back to the asparagus. So just using a slotted spoon, just drain that off. So that vegetable stock is now going to take on some of the flavour from that asparagus. So you're getting a maximum amount of punch from the ingredients. Put about 100 mils of the vegetable stock into a liquidizer and then add half the asparagus and blend to a smooth puree. So the shallots are really nicely softened off now. I'm going to go in with the rice. I'm using carnaroli rice here, which is a slightly longer grain, or you could use arborio, which gives you a slightly creamier risotto. Then pour in the wine. And let that bubble up. And really importantly at this stage, before you start to add the stock, let the alcohol burn off the wine. If you're not sure if the alcohol's all burnt off, just get your nose in, give it a sniff. If you feel a slight burn at the top of your nose, you know there's still some alcohol in there. So just give it another minute or so, and then you can start to gradually add the stock. Just go in a ladle for less of time. Make sure the stock is warm. So keep it on a really low heat. Because if the stock goes cold, each time you're going to reduce the temperature of the pan and you're going to end up with a really sticky risotto. Keep stirring all the time. And the reason for stirring is that you're trying to beat the starch out of the rice and that's what gives you that lovely creamy finish. Right, so it's almost there. You can see how you've got this lovely creamy coating on the outside of the grains of the rice. I'm going to go in with the artichokes. So just stir in that artichoke. It's going to give a lovely bit of texture to the finished risotto. And then in with the puree. So you've got that great flavour and that vibrant green colour as well. And at this point I want to turn the heat off because the rice is almost there and I don't want to cook out that puree too much otherwise it will lose its nice colour. Then for a little bit of richness I'm just going to finish with some finely grated pecorino and the last little bit of butter. Just stir that in. So as soon as that butter and cheese is melted in, just cover it with a lid. And this is probably one of the most important parts in cooking risotto, is just to leave it to settle and rest for a few minutes. And everything's just going to relax. The rice will take on that last bit of liquid and you'll end up with something really beautiful and creamy. And the last thing to do just before serving, just stir through that asparagus. And then just have some warm serving bowls at the ready. Spoon the risotto in and finish off with some shavings of pecorino cheese. And for more great recipes like this, click on subscribe. Thank you.